hello everyone we will continue the topic classical reports and in the previous video we discussed that we should never never hard code the labels into one language we should always always create the text symbols so we created the text symbols how we created the text symbol go to text element text symbols every text symbol is three characters long and we provided the text in front of text symbol and we all know text symbols are data object they hold the data for 000 text symbol order number is the data order number is the value for 001 order date is the data or we can say values now we will use this text symbol in our program now for the order number but the text symbol we created 000 so how i will write text hyphen 000 so this is the way you have to use you can double click and check also is it navigating properly yes 000 order number now i will write 001 text hyphen 001 now i will write text hyphen 002 now i will write text hyphen 003 text hyphen 004 text hyphen 005 we can navigate and check also 001 order date 002 payment mode 003s yes, currency 004 order item number 005 item cost same to same thing we need to apply here also this is 001 Zero zero two zero zero three zero zero four and zero zero five and project will accept this kind of code because we used text symbols now. in our program now okay, my current login is in which language english language now you can see yes we have the labels in the english language these labels these labels which we maintained through text symbols are in english language now now why we are going for text symbols because we have a option of translation so how we can do that translation you can simply simply go for go to translation now we are going for translation into german language we'll go for okay now you can see we are able to see all the text symbols here now we will go for translation we don't know german language but we will put something anyways in the real projects customer will provide you the text translated text which you need to provide so we will provide some translated text i'm just writing writing random things so that you can understand this how it is speaking that text into a, a different language also
I'm just maintaining that text. So these are the text in the English language. And this is the text which I put into German language. And in the real projects, customer will give you the real text, what that particular thing is called in that particular language. And we will maintain that text like this. We need to simply, simply go for go to translation. And that's why we use the text symbol because we can translate a text into multiple languages. So we maintain that text into German language also. Now what I will do, we will log in into German language now. We all know for German, DE. Now I will go for same to same program. This is our program. Okay. Text symbols are there. We will run. I will give the input. And you can see now the labels are appearing, which we maintained in German. So when we logged in into English language, the labels are appearing into English language. When we logged into German language, so whatever that, whatever we maintained into German, those are appearing there. So this is always, always the best practice never hard code that uh, never hard code the text into one language always use the text symbol in the future we have one topic of message class also at that time we will not hard code the messages into one language we will use message class for the messages and same to same reason will be there whenever you will use message class we can translate a message into multiple languages. Same thing is applicable here also. Whenever you are going for text, whenever you are going for label, always make a practice to use the text symbols. So what is the summary of the video? In this last two videos, we covered the important practice important coding practice that never never hard code the labels or text always always use the text symbols how you can create the text symbol you have to simply simply go for go to text element and you can give the text symbols text symbol is three characters long you can provide that text in front of the text symbol. How you will use in the program text hyphen that three digit number with the help of that you can use. And text symbols are data object Excel. They are data object. Why we are calling it as data object? Because they are holding that data. They are holding the values. But we are not declaring in the program. We are declaring as a part of text elements of the program. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.